We shot that on the first day of the first Gulf War in 91. Well, I remember it being a really fun, loose week, and I remember really admiring everybody's talent. Uh, um, uh, Julia, in particular, you know, and also um, Jason Alexander, who was a fellow BU grad, you know, and we talked about Boston University, and we had shared all the same professors, and, you know, there's certain pride, you know, you, you know people from your alma mater are doing well. Um, you know, and, and Jason's brilliant, really great talent, and uh, and I was a fan of the show. I liked it. I thought it was very, very funny. And I knew Larry David from bartending. I was I bartended at a place called Comedy U Grand in Soho uh, in 1986 when I first moved down to New York. And he used to come in there to test his stuff out when he was stand up, and he was very, very funny. Uh, Ray Romano used to come into there. and he, I saw him do his very first stand-up comedy ever on that stage in this little sliver of a place, 90-seat house. The people that came in there, you wouldn't believe it. It's like the who's who of comedy. He used to come into this little, little tiny place and, and do their stuff. And I got to know a lot of them at that time, and I ended up you know, getting hired by Larry to do that Seinfeld, The Stranded End. I got to tell you, more than any single thing that I've done in my career, I think that, that that episode has played more than anything I've ever done. More people have referenced that show. I've gotten more residual checks from that show. <laughs> uh, so it's just one that I really looked on fondly. But it also was this kind of weirdness because the war started and Jerry's parents were in Tel Aviv when the Scud missile started hitting. So we were freaking out backstage watching this unfold on CNN. And then they went places, and we were like, ah, all right, we got to be funny. Let's do a comedy now. And um, I, I always thought that the, the angst that we felt sort of led to us doing a, a, an even better show because we sort of let it out on, the, on, on film. I played this idiot. Uh, <laughs> um, I played some guy who, like, you know, threw a party in Long Island, and they got stranded out there. And Kramer had to come and pick them up, but he didn't show up till 3 in the morning. And you know how the show was about nothing. Well, you know, arbitrarily, Jerry says, well, thank you very much. If you're ever in the city, look me up. You know, because we all say that. Right. You know, and of course, the next day, I, you said if I was ever in the city. <laughs> well, you know, and I end up drinking, swilling all his alcohol and, you know, hiring hookers. But, you know. <laughs> Played a lot of obnoxious people, especially in those days.